live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Here's the left fielder, Lars Newball. And he deals. That's in there. And we're underway here in the home opener. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. No play. That's an infield single. Now it's Marcus Simeon. In there for strike one. You got to keep an eye on Musgrove, too, because he's been known in the back of the mound to play tic tac toe with the other team's pitcher. He did that once in a game with a former teammate, Chad Cool. It was a tie. Knocks it down. Nuke bar around third. He'll score easily, and it's 1 0. Now it's Jose Ramirez and Cleveland on top once in. And the first offering is not close. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And that should be extra bases. Yelich hurries it back in. Lead runner puts on the brakes, and it's second and third. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Here's Kyle Tucker. In there, and it's 0-1. Next pitch inside, and the count is one and one. Two runners in scoring position, nobody out. And it's even up. Line drive, caught! From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. And fouled off. Musgrove was originally picked in the first round of 2011 by the Blue Jays, but now a San Diego kid who grew up in Grossmont and got a chance to pitch for his hometown team in the playoffs. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first, run scores, and that makes it 2 0 as they get the out. Chaz McCormick, the next to hit, takes ball one. Two outs, and one in scoring position. That missed inside. Two balls, no strikes. And misses inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. the first. Here's Alex Brego. Well, after the third, nice inning on offense. Got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015 he wears that number on his back number two and singy he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up bounce to the right side and that one finds its way through so a runner aboard to start the inning not much to this one other than just a willingness to Go the other way and 
put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's Austin nope. Meadows. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. One ball, one as he was out front that time. Oh, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second That's overall, open. but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years, not being the number one pick overall. And he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best, and it's translated on both sides of the ball. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. the two one and a foul ball left hand hitter waits that's towards center McCormick has it sized up makes the catch and there's one gone throw and it gets away now it's Devers at the plate that one misses and that's ball one Bregman leads off first with one away the one one is fouled off Rasmussen throws the first. Bregman back in standing. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now it's Luis Robert. Next pitch has popped up. Simeon puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Here's Jan Gomes. The catcher, Jan Gomes. The pitch. There's a strike. One one. That one outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Jan Gomes waits. That's a ball. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Mullins settles under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Owen Miller digs in now. The first base is number six. Owen Miller. Pitch misses inside, inside. Ball, one. ball one. And a strike in there. The one one is fouled off. And now it's even up. Now fly ball to right center. Robert hustling after it. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now around second, going for third. Everything came together for him. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. And that one fouled off. Into center. 
Robert makes the play and there are two down. So the batting no order turns out. over. Let's Lars Newtbar digs in for the Guardians. Yeah. There's a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Left-hand batter waits. That misses the zone. Now one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. On the ground, right side. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here at the ballpark, bottom half of inning number two. So in now for Colorado, Danny Jansen. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ball. And there's a ball. 2 0. Aye. And there's a strike. Just missed. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. McCormick puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. So up next, Cedric Mullins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Newt Bar pulls it in for the out. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. Inside corner for a strike. Next offering is down low. Kicks and fires. Ball, that pitch is out. Late with the swing there. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Three and two. And that one in the air center field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that ends the inning. Back here at Coors Field, here is Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. That one pushed foul. And one and two. It's a good take. The one one is fouled off. Here comes a pinch. Off the mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Here's Jose Ramirez. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Right side, hard hit. Profar sends it to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs, base is empty. Kyle Tucker digs in for the Guardians. He's got it. And that is out number three. 
back here in Denver, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Rasmussen back to work. Foul ball there. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. And takes low for ball one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker squeezes it, and there's two down. And now it's Alex Bregman, one for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Bregman getting to start at third. 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Ball to strike. Swinging a foul straight back. Out to short. Stop. Zips it to first, and they get Bregman for the out. And that is that. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. The pitch. Misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. You know, these Guardians doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And down on strikes he goes. One down. Now, now Chaz McCormick digs in for the Guardians. Chaz McCormick. Oh. one and oh. The one oh. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is off the top of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. Well, so close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Base hit. McCormick headed for the plate. But now he hits the brakes. That hustles back to third. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed it. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. Yeah, the batter now, Owen Miller. That's a base hit as a run scores. Waste no time there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Stop. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Gomes on second. Miller at first. One gone. Got him. Snap throw. So the lineup flips over. Now the left fielder, Lars Newbar. One for two. First pitch just misses. just missed could be some action here on this next pitch couple runners on probably a challenge pitch coming there's a swing and a drive banks off the wall 
Runner from second crosses the plate, and they lead by four. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Comes through with the RBI. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent low throw, and he can't take it out. So two down, Jose Ramirez will hit next. In the dirt, blocked. No movement on the base, it's ball one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Mullins brings it in for the third out. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning, here is Austin Meadows. And a pitch. It spills out of his glove. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And the pitch. Foul ball. Oh, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Grounder might be two. Tosses to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Luis Robert now. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Meadows, the runner at second with one away. That one finds the zone. And one and one. Man at second. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's Jansen in. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Runner at second, two down. That's off the mark. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a swing and a miss. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And he grounds one back up the middle, gets it to first. That's out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. And here it comes. Lined, and that's a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a leadoff double as they look to keep pulling away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? Oh, gets dirty. Throw to first. Nicely done for the out. And now, Chaz McCormick. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. There's a strike. One away with a runner at third. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now it's Jan Gomes. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Yelich makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now here is Cedric Mullins. The pitch. Just missed. Oh, All these Rockies just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get go. anything going. 1-1, one, one, check swing, appeal down to third, and no swing, says James Kingsley. Smoked on the ground a second. Over to first, and they get Mullins for the out. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Yelich nope. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next pitch is outside. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And that one hammered. That's back there. Booyah! Francisco Lindor takes him deep, and they close the gap. It's 5-2. Now batting Jerks and Profar. That misses off the outside edge. On the ground, right side. On to first, two out. Back to the top of the lineup, Alex Bregman digging in for the Rockies. Singy, this guy was a shortstop most of his life. He's transitioned very nicely to third base, and the power has come at the major league level. That's out to center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here in Denver, all set for the start of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Owen Miller. The wind of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. That one missed. Yeah, and one thing, even though we don't see a whole lot of bunning these days, I've always been impressed with how he's been able to make that play up the third base line and throw firm to first to get the out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Stott, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Next offering is in for a strike. got a ball, one strike. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Slings to second, over to first, safe. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Lars Newtbar digs in for the Guardians. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Newtbar goes six feet, three inches, 25 years old, and he's usually in right today, starting in left. At the belt and fires. Boog, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's a speed threat Marcus Simeon. Your now, now, 
And that's in there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now away. Now the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. That's ripped. Base hit. Stop coming home. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's going to be Kyle Tucker. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Simeon, the lead runner at second. Look out! And it hit him. Now, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout, and you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. And next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. On the ground to third. Diving, and he can't make the play. The run scores from second. It's a two. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. McCormick. Stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Gloves it on the dive to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Colorado's DH, Austin Meadows. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Yancy Almonte. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Here comes the 1. Good eye right there. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Stop. Settles under it and makes the catch. One away. Here's Rafael Devers. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Robert, in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. And a big swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. He flips it to second in time. And it's a double play to end the inning. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. So in now for Cleveland, Jan Gomes. The right-hander back to work. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. The throw. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. And now Owen Miller. And there's the strike. Ball one there. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. This looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. It's a double, his fourth hit of the game. Now bad. One down. This is Bryson Stott. There's the strike. All one's the count. On the inside corner for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Mm -hmm. 
Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. The one two. That one lifted to left. He's got it and there's two away. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Let's Lars Newtbar. Lars Newtbar. Your Number 66. Enter. In there for strike one. Miller at second with two down. That one fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. And now two and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Three, two now. On the ground right side. In time to Devers. That's the third out. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the Rockies catcher, Danny Jansen. Amante back to work. Swings through that one for strike one. Amante throws what a lot of people consider to be a power sinker. Throws it with serious velocity, but it moves a ton and it stays down. And Boog, against a guy like this, you grab your backup bat out of the rack. You don't want to take your gamer up there because you know there's a good chance it's coming back broken. Next pitch inside. The count now two and two. What's the approach when you're facing a guy like this, Chris? Don't look down in the zone because you'll end up chasing something that's out of the strike zone. Make him elevate the pitch because he's not as effective at the top of the strike zone. You've got a better chance of having success. He swings and fouls one off. Hard on the ground to first. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. The left fielder, number 22. Christian Yelich. Yelich at the plate and takes high there. That's in there. That's strike one. To the right side, Simeon slings to first. Yelich out on the play. That ends the frame. Back here at Coors Field, we're at the top of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. So, a man aboard. Here's the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field. Pretty well struck. Yelich moving back for it. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Kyle Tucker. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Out towards left center. And that should be extra bases. Coming around third is Simeon. He will score, and it's 9-2. Tries to get back and see. Picks himself up at RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner at second here, one gone. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. That one drifts inside. Kicks and deals. That one missing inside. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Chaz McCormick digs in for the Guardians.
Tucker stands at second with two gone. And he hits a ground ball right side. Profar sends it to first, third out. And welcome back. Here's Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. All ones that count. And one ball one. one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Fights that one away, still one and two. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Righty to the plate. And that just misses. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Now bad. Jerkson Profar digging in for the Rockies. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Tim Mesa. And this guy can bring it. Velocity wise. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. First offering misses the mark. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that's downstairs and outside. And there's a hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lindor zipping around third. He'll score, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. Goes to third, but he beats it, and everyone's safe. So they're at the corners now. Austin Meadows now, one for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Here's a strike. And he deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. One run is in. Here comes Bregman around third. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Rafael Montero gets the ball now. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Devers at the plate now. That's ball one. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Luis Robert digging in for the Rockies. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Gonzalez stands at third with one gone in the inning. And strike two. Next oh, offering misses, now two and two. two Right-hander right. kicks, deals. Hard hit, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. Out number two and another run comes in. Two outs, base is empty. Danny Jansen to hit here. Hammers that one, deep left field, and forget it.
An absolutely majestic shot. And they cut into the deficit. It's 9-7. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. A new pitcher in the game, Yoan Duran. He's into the game with the bases empty. Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And that one missing low. Pitch is in for a strike. And yeah, the count one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss struck him out. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Jameson, a six foot righty. He features a four seam fastball, a sinker, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Throws to first. One up, one down. So digging in, Owen Miller. He's got a single, a double, and a triple in this game. A home run gets him the cycle. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The wide to kick the pitch. Jimenez makes the grab for the second out. And here is Bryson Stop. That's in there. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. And another ball. In the dirt, on to first. That completes the strikeout, inning over. Here in Denver, here's Yelich at the dish. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Edwin Diaz. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. That clips a corner. Next nope. one misses, oh. and a count even one and one. And a good eye there, facing a closer that delivers big time velocity. Well, normally against a big arm with this kind of velocity, you look for the ball down because the fastball up is a little hard to catch up to. But he's shown really good plate discipline by not offering at that last pitch down. Next one in the dirt. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Yeah, the right hander deals. In the air, left field. Newt Bar moves under it. Makes the grab. One up, one down. 
Now up to him, Francisco Lindor. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's the swing and a miss. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Way inside, gets out of the way. Got it by him for the K. So they're down to their final out. Here's Andre Jimenez. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, just another big win today, and everyone is jumping on board behind this ball club. They're playing so well. They're packing the stands, and it's just an exciting brand of baseball. We'll see how far it goes, but right now, no one thinks it's going to end anytime soon. And 9-7 is the final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.